Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so overdue on filming one of these Will I Buy It videos. Now these videos are inspired by Samantha March. I will go ahead and link her profile down in the description box. She actually does hers every Wednesday, so if you're interested, definitely go ahead and check out her channel. I want to give credit where credit is due, so yeah, totally check her out. But there have been so many new products announced and some stuff has already come out. But of course, you guys, I have to give you my unsolicited advice. So without further ado, let's check out some new makeup launches and whether I'm buying them, whether I'm passing on them, and etc, etc. So let's get into it. So the first product is one that I already have. I can't remember if they launched this or not yet. I feel like I picked it up in the pre-sale, but then there were like liquid lipsticks that went along with this. So of course now I have it and I don't know if it's out or not officially, but this is the Juvia's Place Festival Collection Eyeshadow Palette. It says on Trend Mood that it's gonna be available February 15th. So I feel like I got it in the pre-order, but this is what the inside of this palette looks like. I have not swatched this yet. But there will be a swatch party coming for you guys. I love Juvia's Place palettes and so of course I had to buy these. I feel like they threw in some really cool shades down here just to give it some spice. But these first two rows are really nice and neutral. I cannot wait to hop into this red shade. I feel like I'm going to be wearing this in my crease more than I care to admit. But very, very exciting stuff. So that is the first thing I want to talk about. And usually in Will I Buy It, it's supposed to be like, hey, this is coming out. Maybe I'll buy it. But that was one I picked up on the pre-order, so I already have it. Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the new Huda highlighting palette that's coming out. This is called the Bronze Sands Edition. And I know my friend Netmi and Nisha, they both love the Huda highlighting palettes. I actually have one of her highlighting palettes, and I think it's beautiful, but I haven't used it enough. So I'm going to be skipping on the Bronze Sands Edition. Also, I feel like this one in particular is made for dark, deep skin tones, which I think is great. I'm glad she's coming out with something for every single skin tone. So yeah, I, I'm not going to get this, but I think it's really beautiful. And I'm sure Nisha and Nethmi will get it. So if you want reviews, I would just check out their Instagram pages. I will remember to hopefully link that down in the description box for you guys. Next thing I see is NARS is coming out with an eyeshadow palette called Danger Control, I believe. And this is six holographic iridescent and glitter shadows for $49. I don't think they've announced the date yet, but it does look like a very beautiful palette. I personally am not planning on picking this palette up because I have had pretty bad luck with NARS eyeshadow palettes. I recently picked up the Wanted eyeshadow palette and I really did not enjoy that at all. I just feel like I am an eyeshadow junkie, so I know formulas I like and the NARS formula is just not for me. So I'm going to be passing on this palette. The packaging looks beautiful. The shades look ultra hip and cool, but I will be passing. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Here is another palette that already came out. This is the Dominique Cosmetics by Christian Dominique, Dominique Latte Palette. So um, this is a brand that is created by a YouTuber, Christian Dominique. She is so, so beautiful, and I don't really watch her much. I used to be subscribed to her, but I've really kind of broken off from the huge YouTubers, so don't really watch her very often. This palette is beautiful, but I did watch Kimberly Clark kind of talk about this palette, and she's like, don't be fooled by a neutral palette with two pops of color, and I was like, wow, she's right, and like I'm not really like into Kristen Dominique so I don't really feel the pressure to like support her or anything so I'm gonna be passing on this palette I believe this palette is like forty two dollars and it looks like it is cruelty free so that's really nice and it is already available for pre-sale so yeah I don't know it's just kind of a blah palette really I feel like you can't do stuff like that anymore and just get away with it like your subscribers will buy it but the rest of us that have like a million palettes, you know, it's like, mm, pass. The Sephora Neon Palette, I did end up buying this guy. I did show it in my January haul. And I also did try to use it in my Get Ready With Me video. If that's up, I will link it for you guys. If it's not up yet, it's coming up where I use this in a Get Ready With Me video. I was really, really excited for this palette. So I had to get it. Plus it was $20. I mean, 
where has anyone ever gotten a $20 eyeshadow palette from Sephora? Let's be real. So i um, very excited for that palette as well. Now, these new Milani palettes, I have been going back and forth about purchasing them, but I have two Milani palettes that I keep meaning to review for you guys, and I've had these for a good part of 2017, and I never got around to reviewing them, so I'm like, no, you're not buying these new Milani palettes, but these ones look so cool. So they have two of them. They have Most Love Mats and Bold Obsessions, and I saw Emily Noel's video where she did like a full face using Milani, and I was like, oh my god, I want those palettes, they look so gorgeous, but I have to stop myself, because the one looks a lot like the Modern Renaissance palette, and the other one is really beautiful, but I know Emily Noel said it looked a lot like the Viseart Golden Hour palette, and I used to have that one, and I did return it because I didn't like the formula, but... What's the point? Like, you can only have so many neutral palettes. So even though I really, really want to try this out for the formula and stuff, I have to say no to myself because I just have bought so many eyeshadow palettes. I haven't even reviewed them. So for now, I'm going to pass on the Milani palettes. If you guys pick them up, definitely let me know your thoughts because I'm itching over here. Now, Becca Cosmetics also launched the Ocean Jewels collection. They're doing a eyeshadow palette as well as a highlighter palette. The highlighter palette is $46. It's also going to come out with a lip gloss which is $25 and the eyeshadow palette is $35 featuring seven brand new shades. Now Becca's never been known for their eyeshadow palettes so I feel like people really hesitate to buy their eyeshadow palettes and honestly I feel like mm, $35 for seven eyeshadows isn't horrible. I mean that's five bucks a shadow but yeah, I'm going to pass on this guy. I'm just not really into the shades. It just kind of looks like a boring palette. The highlighter palette I won't be buying because this reminds me too much of the Aurora Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I have that glow kit and I don't even use that one enough. So why the heck would I buy a Becca one? Even though I love the Becca face palette that they came out with for holiday, I thought I was never going to buy that palette. And then it went on sale for like 25 bucks, So I did buy it and I was like, Oh my gosh, it was so worth it. So that's a pro tip for you. And then the gloss is supposed to be like a universal gloss, but I'm just not a gloss person, so I'm going to pass on that as well. Now, an exciting product that is coming out here soon is the ColourPop Luxe Lipsticks. Now, I believe they're coming out with like a bunch of shades. I want to say like 30 shades. I don't even know, but I've been seeing lip swatch videos like all over the place. And they have a lot of different shades. I do feel like a lot of the shades are very similar, though. They've got a lot of reds. A, a lot of reds. I feel like I noticed a lot of different variations of red. <laughs> so I might pick some up. I don't know yet. I did buy the Innuendo palette, the highlighting palette, and then the eyeshadow palette they came out with this past week. So definitely look for reviews and swatches of that coming up. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'd make a purchase just for lipsticks because... You have to spend $30 to get free shipping, and I live for free shipping, so there is that. Um, Kylie Cosmetics is coming out with the Blue Honey Palette. I really need to stop talking about Kylie. I don't know why, but I just get so inspired to talk about her when I see her palettes. This one, honestly, it just looks so boring. Like, she tried... I mean, the glitters do look really pretty, but the mattes are, like, very flat-looking and... I don't know, what is this, like a $48 palette? It's already out by the time I'm filming this video because, again, I was late to the party on filming these. But I thought, hey, you know, everyone loves a good will I buy it and I will not be buying that palette. Now, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I've seen mixed reviews on this one for YouTube. I've seen a lot of people I really like say they are going to buy the palette. Some saying they're not going to buy the palette. I feel like 2017 for me was such an eye-opener and such a disaster for ABH because of the subculture palette. And then I bought the Prism palette, and I'm really not impressed with the Prism palette. I'm not even using it. It's still in the box, and I feel like it's definitely going to go on my Poshmark here soon. But yeah, it's weird because I was such an ABH collector, such a fan of those palettes, and now I'm like, hmm, I need to cool it on ABH palettes. I did sell my self-made palette on Poshmark. I think I'm just going to cool it on my ABH palettes because I've bought so many throughout the years and I've been so impressed but I think it's time for me to try something new so I'm gonna try and hold off on my soft glam palette 
Also, I feel like I have these shades over and over in my ColourPop collection, which is pretty out of control right now. Um, and speaking of ColourPop, the palettes I bought were Give It To Me Straight and Innuendo. Those are the highlighting and the eyeshadow palette that they came out with. I'm sure, again, I have these shades over and over again in my collection, but I love ColourPop. I love the price. I don't feel bad when I buy their product. Plus, they always come out with things where you can hit free shipping because eyeshadow palette was like 16 bucks, highlighting palette was 18 bucks. Got me over $30 and got myself free shipping, which I think is really considerate of them to do that, you know? Launch new products in twos. Um, another new launch I see is BH Cosmetics palettes that are launching. These ones I was tempted to pick up, but again, one is like a cool tone, one is a very, very neutral palette, which I don't see myself getting any use out of. And these were like 15 bucks, so super affordable. And I did put BH Cosmetics in my brands, I think you should try, in 2018 video because I really love the It's My Ray Ray palette that they collab with. So I really, really wanted to get it to keep trying BH Cosmetics and see how they do in this year, but I'm gonna pass on these guys because I, there's so many palettes and things that I want. So I need to try and be a better person and just cool my jets on those purchases. So I'm gonna wait. Now, it looks like Flower Beauty is adding a ton of new stuff to the line that is now being also sold at Ulta.com. So that's nice because you don't have to go to Walmart anymore, but it looks like they're coming out with a new foundation, new highlighting palette, a bunch of new eyeshadow palettes that look really fun. I'm gonna wait it to see what else they're gonna come out with because I did get a 20% off coupon from Ulta. So I think what I'm gonna do is wait until those become available and then spend my coupon and try some of these eyeshadow palettes because those shades look really, really fun from Flower Beauty. And I really like a lot of things from Flower Beauty. I think I would definitely recommend them if you are on a budget. This liquid lip is from Flower Beauty. I have some of their highlighters. I have their blushes are beautiful. So definitely recommend checking them out if you're balling on a budget or even if you're not balling on a budget. It's really great stuff. Kevin Aquan is coming out with a... Prisma Magic Highlighting Trio. There's Aurora, Illusion, and Enchanted. I believe this is already available on Sephora.com. These shades look really pretty, but you guys, I'm not into colorful highlighters. I tried, but I am not the kind of person that wears green highlighter. It's just not me, even though I have a yellow highlighter on today. But yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. But let me know if you guys picked up that palette because I'm really curious. I feel like it's giving me Kat Von D metal matte what is that metal palette she came out with that's a highlighter it's basically like glitter off for your face so because i'm i'm just not into it so i'm gonna pass next there is a new viva glam color out it is by sia and it looks like it's a red lipstick 17 dollars and basically the viva glam fund i think all the proceeds go to the mac aids fund so it's a really amazing cause i did pick up the mac cosmetics and taraji p henson lineup the only thing is, guys, I'm so over Max lipsticks. I just cannot. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell all of mine on my Poshmark again. So, if you guys wanna follow me on Poshmark, the link is in my description box because I've been selling a lot of makeup that I just don't use, and my Mac lipsticks are unfortunately one of them. I feel like all they ever do is come out with similar colors, and they just name them something different, and they just like repackage and repackage and repackage, and I just. I'm so over it. You know what I mean? I wish they would just promote their existing line instead of trying to like reinvent the wheel here with, with their lipsticks. Now, Black Moon Cosmetics is coming out with some, I think they're coming out with, let me double check if they're revealed. It looks like they're coming out with, is it just two palettes or just one? Actually, I think they're just coming out with one palette. The box is a square and then the palette is a half moon. And they say on here, here she is, ladies and gentlemen, eight stunning mattes. It doesn't say how much this is, but it's 100% vegan and cruelty-free. It's beautiful. My only problem with this is it looks like every other warm matte palette. It reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D Metal Matte Mini Palette that she came out with, with these warm shades. So even though I really want to try Black Moon, I'm gonna have to pass on that palette because I just don't know what I do with one more warm eyeshadow palette. Now, Jeffree Star just revealed, not just, like a few days ago, 
the new blood sugar palette and his like new Valentine's esque collection. It's called the Love Sick Collection. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I was immediately attracted to his new eyeshadow palette. I did buy the first one, the Beauty Killer palette. Was not a fan. I ended up selling that to somebody. I passed on the Androgyny palette because those colors were just not my makeup vibes. But this palette, the Blood Sugar palette, is gorgeous. I love all those like red tones he put in there. The only thing I'm worried about is he did mention in his reveal video that he used pressed pigments. Now keep in mind, pressed pigments are what are in the Subculture palette, which made it really hard to use. When it comes to pressed pigments, you can't blend a pressed pigment. You have to pat it on. And when it comes to matte eyeshadows, that is not good because the reason I use matte eyeshadows is to blend, not to pack on. I pack on metallic shadows, not pressed pigments or matte shadows. So even though I was really, really convinced that I was going to buy it when I first saw it, I, thinking back now, will probably pass on it because I will probably get really frustrated and not use that palette. So for right now, I think I'm going to pass on the Jeffree Star palette, which kind of kills me to say that, but... It's the truth. Now let's talk about a new indie brand to me that I've been dying to try. It's Luxie Beauty and they just came out with a dollhouse collection. Super, super beautiful. Again, my friend Angelica did a swatch video and a tutorial on Luxie Beauty and she loves indie brands, you guys. Definitely check out her channel if you guys like indie brands. But yeah, super stunning. I did actually end up picking up a few of these indie shadows by Luxie, so I will have swatch videos and reviews for you guys, but these glitter shades look stunning, and I also picked up a few of the matte shadows as well. So yeah, I think I'm excited to try Luxie because I've never tried them before, and there's a lot of other YouTubers that talk about Luxie as well, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. And then the other indie brand that I wanted to talk to you guys about is Davina. Davina's coming out with a Midnight Affairs matte collection. And if you guys love, or if you guys want, the Viseart Dark Max palette, these shadows are such a dupe for this palette, which is $80. I believe this Midnight Affair collection, you can buy a bundle for like $60 or something like that. I swear, it looks like exactly like the Viseart palette. So if you've been wanting to try it out, definitely do so. If Angelica makes a video on that collection, I will try and remember to link it down in the description box for you guys to check out. I did pick up Divina shadows recently from a different collection, Somewhere Over the Rainbow collection. Super pretty shadows, so I'm really into it. I'm so grateful to Angelica for introducing me to their shadows. Very, very cool. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, not everyone's doing it, I would recommend Divina and Luxie. Now it looks like Viseart is coming out with a love themed palette for February. It looks like the Golden Hour packaging, but this one is called Trist. So it should be interesting. I am not probably gonna buy that palette because again, Viseart shimmers are just not my vibe. And so I'd rather stick to the all matte palettes because I think all matte is what they do best. So I'm gonna be hard passing on that, but if you guys have always wanted to try Viseart, I think those smaller palettes are an awesome way to do it. Now, Ofra is coming out with a Valentine's Day collection. I'm going to be hard passing on it. I've heard Ofra's liquid lipsticks are really, really bomb, and I would like to try them out someday, but lipsticks are not my jam, really. I'm totally an eyeshadow junkie, so I don't feel the need to pick any of that up, and also they are coming out with like highlighter palette. I have one highlighter from Ofra, and that's all I need. It's a very blinding highlight, so I think I'm good. Like all around with Ofra, I'm good, so I'm gonna pass. Sugar Pill is doing a collaboration with Kiki and Lala of Little Twin Stars. This, I believe, is like, I think they're like Korean or Japanese or something. They definitely look, well, one of them definitely looks Asian. This whole like palette is very like, butterflies and unicorns themed and the shades are too it's definitely not my makeup vibes but it's cool i've always wanted to try a sugar pill so i might just do it just buy it just to try the brand but i don't know what do you guys think i i, I can't imagine that those are my makeup vibes so <laughs> i don't know I just don't know what I do with this palette. I really like that baby blue teal color that's called Star Ribbon or something. But the rest of the shades, 
are very strange and I feel like I already have those colors in like my Juvia's Place palettes and stuff like that so I might have to pass on that. ABH is collabing with Amrezy and launching a highlighter and the price will be mm, $20.00. This highlighter looks beautiful, but it's like, don't we all have every single golden highlight? I have to show you guys my video. Definitely watch it if you're a highlighter junkie. It's where I swatch all my gold highlighters. And in the end, pretty much all of our like favorite highlighters, so like You're So Hollywood, Heat Wave, Whisper of Guilt, L Laura Geller, Gilded Honey, like all of these highlights I swatch, and they all looked the same, you guys. So I would say... If you don't have any gold highlighters, get this one. If you want to support Amrezy um, or ABH, get this one. But if you're like me and you have every golden highlighter that's already existed in this world for the last 20 years, you don't need this, guys. So I would say pass on that. There is a new OPV Beauty eyeshadow palette called the Ohun, Ohun palette. <laughs> It looks really beautiful, but I have to pass. Again, I gotta stop buying neutral eyeshadow palettes. This one is beautiful. The only thing, too, is I believe this is a British brand. So once you do the conversions and stuff, it's not really like a cheap palette. It's like 40 bucks. I'm like, mm, hard pass. Hard pass on that palette. Cover FX is coming out with a new foundation called the Power Play Foundation. And it looks really cool, but again, I feel like I have a lot of foundations. I just bought the new Bobbi Brown foundation. So I will be passing on that foundation unless I hear some really good things. It hasn't really been announced yet, like when it's launching and stuff like that. Also, I think I'd pay attention to the shade range because obviously I want to find something that's going to work with my skin tone. Too Faced is back at it. They're going to add to the Too Faced clover collection i just don't know guys they're gonna donate to help animals in need and all this good stuff i've heard really good things about the clover eyeshadow palette again i have no intention of purchasing anything really from Too Faced. I did do the chocolate bar palette last year and I reviewed it in a video called One Video Seven Palettes or something like that where I like reviewed seven eyeshadow palettes and yeah you guys should watch that video. I don't want to like spoiler it or anything like that but I'm just not gonna be buying any more Too Faced in 2018 as well. I'm just gonna go back to me and Too Faced are broken up right now <laughs> with no signs of reconciliation. And then the last thing I saw very recently here is Urban Decay is coming out with lip glosses. Now lip glosses are so so on trend right now. They haven't released a launch date or anything like that yet. But uh, I'm so not into lip glosses. Like I feel like with lip gloss you can have one and you're good. So I have like a few from Kylie when Kylie first came out with lip glosses. I have the Fenty Beauty lip gloss, and that's all I need. So I won't be buying any lip glosses from Urban Decay. I feel like it's so weird, two colorful lip glosses. Because like me, I live in a very windy place, so when my hair gets caught on the lip gloss, and then it's like all over your face, and it's such a fucking nightmare. So I'm going to hard pass on the Urban Decay lip glosses as well. Okay, guys, that is everything I wanted to talk to you about in this video. Definitely feel free to tag me on Instagram every time you see a new launch and you want me to feature it in my Will I Buy It series. I would love, love, love if you guys tag me. Other than that, I don't really have anything else to say. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys!